Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Trina and this is TNT. Thank you for joining me today. My readings are all timeless, so whenever you happen to come across this video, there could be something in here for you. I'm feeling guided to do a reading for Scorpio today. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. I'm not really sure why I'm guided to do a reading for Scorpio. It's just a, a feeling I can't seem to shake. So remember, this is a collective reading for Scorpio. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone that needs it. And yeah, let's get into it. Death, that's your card, Scorpio. The Nine of Pentacles. The Empress and the Hermit. Okay. So this death card here, this is um I believe this is signifying the need to let something go. It's, it's like there's a, a clear ending to something. It's it's already ended, but you're still hanging on to it. Still hanging on to it. It's time to be independent here. It's time to be basically all you can be. And you're going to accomplish that by by doing some, some really deep soul searching. You may need to be alone for this period of time. Um, you don't have to be. But it might help for you to be alone for this period of time so that you can be, start being independent, be authentically you and all you can be, and then really let something go. <clears throat> okay, let's see what the death card is here for, for Scorpio. Let's see what the death card is here for, for Scorpio. What's going on with the death card for Scorpio? Justice. The world. And the page of wands. Okay. So this thing that you're going to let go, this is something that you thought was the end all be all for you. It was something that you thought was the only way for you. Um, it was something that was desirable. It was something that was kind of like a dream, only it came to, to reality and then it was gone. And you can't seem to let it go but you definitely have to. Okay, why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What are we looking at with the Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpio? The Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles, yeah. So, it's just reiterating here that you're, you're definitely hanging on to that. Um, you're not going down without a fight, and you know that this is what you want. Like you, you are insistent that letting it go is not the right thing to do here. Insistent. Why? What is? Why can't you accept that this is not for you and you need to let it go? What is it about it? What is it about it? Maybe it's the Empress. Okay, let's see why the Empress is here for Scorpio. Let's see why the Empress is here for Scorpio. What's going on with the Empress? Empress for Scorpio. King of Wands, yeah. Seven of Wands and the Strength card. Okay. Yeah. Even even if this was the ideal relationship for you, because that's what it's seeming to be for me here. Even if this was the ideal relationship for you, it it is definitely clearly signifying still that you have to let it go. So it's it's not going to happen whether you like it or not. Oh, God. Okay. Um, the King and Queen of Wands here. This may have been something that was born out of, out of passion. May have been a, a sex-based commitment. Um, 
There may have been a lot of fighting in the relationship. I feel like, even though confident in what they want and going after it and I guess getting it for a time, it wasn't based on the, it was based on the wrong, the wrong things to have a, a healthy relationship. What is the Hermit card here for, for Scorpio? Why do we have the Hermit card for Scorpio here? What's going on with the Hermit card for Scorpio? Temperance, okay. Queen of Cups, yeah. And the Star, right. Okay, um. With the Hermit here, we do have the Temperance card. The Temperance card can be about patience, healing, both of those things probably in this case. Balance. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a card of, of nurturing, of compassion, of being able to handle your emotions. Um, it's a card of, it's a card of home. It's a card of intuition. Um, it can also be a card of empathy. With the star on top of it, it's signifying that this was what you thought you had. And maybe you did. But maybe you didn't. Maybe that was a, a bit of a front or something like that. Maybe that was a bit of a front. Because maybe. Maybe deep down, it was the Queen of Wands, and this dynamic doesn't work. It's not going to work in this case anyways. Okay. Um, what else does Scorpio need to know about this situation here? What else does Scorpio need to know about this situation here? What else can we say about the situation for Scorpio here? What else do we need to know? Two of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay. And the Eight of Cups, yeah. So these are just more cards that are signifying that it's time to walk away, time to let go for once and for all. Two of Pentacles, this can be restoring balance to the situation here for you because the balance was not there with this situation, with this relationship. It was definitely unbalanced. Um, the Queen of Swords, this is the Queen of Truth. So she'll, she'll be there to tell you the truth no matter what the consequences. And if you don't tell the truth, she will for you. Eight of Cups, this is a card of walking away, letting go. And it's over here on this side, which it doesn't matter right now because all the energy is the same to me. More or less, it's the same, it's about the same idea. This is on top of the Queen of Cups nonetheless. Because I think that was part of, of you not wanting to let it go. So that you thought she was the Queen of Cups. Or he, whichever. Okay, what are the Two of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What are the Two of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What do we need to know about the Two of Pentacles for Scorpio? Hangman, mm -hmm. the Nine of Cups, okay, great, yeah, and the Six of Wands, okay. So, the Hangman, this is a card of a new perspective, de definitely. Um, you're gonna have to look at this whole situation differently in order to let this go. The Nine of Cups is here, I, I believe it's signifying a, um, a piece of your independence as well as the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, this is being able to be emotionally sufficient by yourself, not having to need that somebody around you to, you know, for validation or whatever whatever you have that for. Um, this is an energy of, of just needing yourself and being okay with that. And this does lead up to the Six of Wands, which is a success, val victory, victory um, validation, recognition. You're going to recognize that you're okay alone. You will recognize it, the Nine of Cups here, that you're okay alone. Yeah. You just need to gain that new perspective somehow and, and just literally see it differently, and then it will be different. Okay, what do we have the Queen of Swords here for for Scorpio? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Scorpio? What's going on with the Queen of Swords for Scorpio? Two of Cups, the Lovers, right, and the Ace of Cups, yeah. 
The Queen of Swords is here to tell you how it is in these matters. I, we have all the love cards right here. Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. They're all right here underneath the Queen of Swords. Because she'll tell the truth about the matters here. Even if you won't, she will. Okay, why do we have the Eight of Cups here for Scorpio? What's going on with the Eight of Cups for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know about the Eight of Cups? Four of Wands. Ace of Wands. And the Devil. Okay. Until you go until you go ahead and go after something else that you desire, there will be temptation here. You will feel trapped in this energy and you won't be able to let it go. You need to get something else for yourself that you desire. Maybe not as much. I'm not sure if that's possible in this case. It doesn't look like it, but you need to find something that you desire enough to put the this whole idea on the back burner for you, on the, on the, in the back of your mind, so that you can let it go. Because as, as long as it's in the front, you won't be able to let it go. And as long as that's the case, she will get nasty eventually. She will, she will get nasty with this. So, I mean, obviously it's best that you let it go on your own <laughs> and not have it forced by the Queen of Swords. Okay, um, is there anything else you can tell us about this situation for Scorpio here? Anything else at all you can tell us about the situation for Scorpio here with this? What else do we need to know about the Scorpio situation here? The Moon and the Three of Pentacles, okay. So there's something that is still unknown to you here. Um, it might even be a bit of confusion that you have. And it's having to do with some kind of a, another, not another romantic relationship per se, but it has something to do with other people in your life. <laughs> not sure who, but something to do with other people in your life here. Why is the moon card here for Scorpio? What's going on with the moon card for Scorpio? Knight of Wands, okay. Page of Cups. Three of Cups, yeah. So basically what this is telling me here is you need to find a friend. You need to replace this this energy in your life um, altogether. You need to at least find a friend. I don't know if you have those or if somebody you you know someone you can call on um, to occupy the, that time that you're missing with this other person, but you need a friend. And you need to rely on that and you need to trust that. You need to trust that. That this friend is here for your your benefit and your the group you know for you this here friend is here for you okay um the three of pentacles why do you have the three of pentacles here for scorpio what else does scorpio need to know about this situation the three of pentacles here seven of swords the sun right okay and the judgment card so not everybody is out to get you, Scorpio. Not everybody is out to get you. The Seven of Swords, the Sun, and the Judgment card here on top of the Three of Pentacles signifies that you are worried about that. And that is not certainly not how it is with the Sun in the middle here. The, there are still people in the world that don't intend bad things for everybody. Um, unfortunately, it looks like you've just come across the ones that that have intended bad things for people. That doesn't mean everyone is like that. I mean, it's up to you to decide <clears throat> how you want to approach relationships from here on in. But not everybody's going to do you wrong. Okay, um, is there any advice for Scorpio here? Is there any advice we can give Scorpio about this? Any advice at all? In this situation at all? Let's see some advice in this situation, please. Two of Wands and the King of Cups. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you're done this adventure. That was fun. Not fun. Whatever. Um, you're you're on to another one. You have the world in your hands here. It says I like you know it says you have the possibility to do anything you want at this point. You can go. You're, it's like starting from scratch. You can go anywhere you want. Do anything you want. Obviously, there's limitations within reason, but I mean, you get my point is that it's just you you have to worry about now. So you can literally do whatever you want. Whatever you're able to do. And the King of Cups here, this is a, a new 
a new way, a way of being for you where you're going to start to understand your emotions. You're going to have most of them under control. You're going to, you don't have to sh show the outside world everything about your emotions. You can just keep that with you and know that you have it under control. Yeah. Okay, why do we have the two of wands here for Scorpio? What's the two of wands all about for Scorpio with the advice? The emperor, yeah. Queen of Pentacles, okay. And the Nine of Wands. So, as you put yourself out in the world again, go on your next adventure, whatever you're gonna do. There may be struggles, that's for sure. You may be even doing it alone for a while. Um, but you will gather what you need. You will survive. Um, and you'll maybe even gain some skills out of it. You'll gain some maybe leadership skills, some self, self worth skills. Um, you're going to be gaining out of this experience here, whether you feel comfortable in it or not. Eventually you will see. Okay. What do we have for the King of Cups here for the advice? What, what's the King of Cups here for advice for Scorpio? Why do you have the King, King of Cups? Six of Swords. Yeah. The Six of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, it seems this. Like, there may be some setbacks going forward here, but you are going forward with the Six of Swords. There may be some setbacks. You may need to call on some people for help. That's this friend here, I'm thinking. Um, is that you, you just, you need somebody on your side. They don't need to be right by your side at all times, I don't believe, but you need somebody on your side. Somebody you can call on if need be. If you feel left out in the cold, somebody you can say, hey, I'm feeling left out in the cold here. Can you help me out? Can you give me some, you know, some inspiration, some encouragement that it, this is not how it is, or whatever the case may be. Because you're, you're on your own here. And it's all up to you now. Yeah. And you need to let this go. Somehow. With this new perspective, hopefully you can let this go. Okay. Well, that's, I think, all the cards I have for you today. If you like this video, please uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. All of these things will help my channel grow. I hope you have a wonderful day.